Hey guys, I thought this might be an interesting topic to discuss, and that is why did Ford stick with the power shift dual clutch transmission, the DPS6, for so many years after they realized that it had all the issues that it had? Unfortunately, it takes a lot of time and money to develop a new transmission, and it didn't make sense to Ford to completely redesign it in the middle of a production line like that after only using it for a year or two. So what they did is they went after uh, trying to fix the transmission. Now, some of the things they did a really good job on, like the TCM, the redesigned TCMs through Ford are outstanding, and um, I haven't seen one fail yet. I'm a, I was a Ford transmission tech for 11 years. In case you're new to the channel, um, welcome. So they did fix the TCM problems, which is the transmission control module, the computer, the brain box. Okay. And they came out with a few different uh, updated clutch designs. However, long story short, there is still issues with clutch shutter. After about 15 or 20,000 miles after a clutch replacement, your the dual clutch assembly will start to shutter on acceleration. And it's just the nature of the beast. You... Now, continuing on here, back when this transmission was made and first used, there was a lot of push to the automakers to increase fuel efficiency and uh, reduce emissions. And that's when they, um, during that environment, that's when they were uh, designing that transmission. And it seemed like a good idea at the time. And like I said before, Ford did have a strong commitment in fixing the issues. Fixing the issues and coming out with extended coverages, uh, warranty extensions, and stuff like that. It ended up being cheaper to do that, as well as um, paying the lawsuits, uh, than it would be to pay for research and development and implementation of a new transmission. That would have been an undertaking right there. And retooling all the assembly plants and all that, it, it's, it would cost a lot of money. So I'm sure they went through their uh, marketing department or whatever and figured out that it's still a lot cheaper to just pay the lawsuits and pay for the extended warranties and potential loss of customers from buying new Fords again after dealing with that. And they've decided that it was uh, still a better choice to go ahead and keep trying to fix this one. Everything comes down to money. And if you notice, everything that they came out with as far as extended coverages, extended warranties, none of it's been a safety recall. This transmission hasn't caused a safety concern. It's just a reliability concern. Like I said, they've worked on it and uh, fixed a lot of the things, but uh, I feel like if there was a major safety concern, then they would step in and have to do something major there. But that hasn't been the case. But yeah, that's the... Uh, that's what I believe the uh, reasoning is there for continuing to use that transmission for years. They started using it in 2011 in the Fiesta, 2012 in the Focus, and of course uh, around 2018 the U.S. Uh, we lost the Focus and Fiesta because they're starting to just make trucks and SUVs only. But uh, overseas they started phasing out the power shift DPS6 um, by the year 2020. It was uh, replaced by another transmission. So yeah, they used that transmission almost 10 years, eight or nine years. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video was entertaining and informative to you. Um, feel free to comment down below if you've got any questions. I've also got a Facebook and Discord group, and I've worked on these transmissions for years. So if you've got any issues with yours, check out my channel. I've got playlists full of Ford Focus uh, transmission diagnosis videos as well as repair videos, and I'm always happy to help. All right. Bye-bye.